In this video, I will discuss about breakdown of the hemoglobin. Red cells break down after lifespan of 120 days. It occurs in the macrophages of the marrow, liver and spleen. This breakdown or the hemolysis occur outside of the blood vessels, so it is called extravascular hemolysis. After hemolysis of the red cells, it releases the hemoglobin. Hemoglobin breaks down into heme and the globin part. This globin part is further converted into the amino acid and it is utilized for the protein synthesis. The heme component then converted into the ferrous and the broken fortifying name as biliverdine in the presence of heme oxygenase. Ferrous is highly toxic and it should be combined with a protein and form apoferritin, further converted into the ferritin. Many ferritin put together and make hemosiderin. Biliverdin is converted into the bilirubin. This reaction is catalyzed by the biliverdin reductase. Bilirubin is very dangerous molecule. Therefore, body should has to get rid of the bilirubin. The bilirubin enter into the blood circulation and it is a mononuclear cell. In the circulation, bilirubin should trap. So there is a bilirubin trapping protein synthesized by the liver known as albumin. As soon as bilirubin comes out, they bind with albumin. Then it is become a large molecule. So cannot go back to the tissues, cannot filter and appear the urine. This type of bilirubin called unconjugate bilirubin or the indirect bilirubin. It is a water insoluble product. Unconjugate bilirubin enter into the hepatocytes of the liver. In the hepatocytes, bilirubin combine with glucuronic acid and it is converted into the conjugate bilirubin or the direct bilirubin. This reaction catalyzes by the glucuronyl transferase. Conjugate bilirubin is a water soluble product. It comes to the GIT via biliary canal. Once come to the colon, it undergo further modification by several bacteria and enzymes. It becomes urobilinogen and stoichiobilinogen. Majority of the compound are excreted from the feces as stoichiobilin. It gives yellow color to the feces. 10 to 15 percent of compound reabsorb into the blood and it is entered into the liver via enterohepatic circulation. Small amount of compound reabsorbed by the blood and reached to the kidney and excreted in the urine as urobilinogen. This urobilinogen oxidizes into urobilin. I hope this video is useful for you. Thank you.